In this video, you're going to learn how to test high-level workflows. Hey there, my name is Kerry Canall, and in this particular video, I'm going to answer that question by addressing the following three questions. Why you want to test a workflow. Two, how to test a workflow using test workflow functionality or button. And number three, how to check the execution logs of a workflow. So we're going to hop out of here and into my demo account. And we're going to go into an automation. And we're just going to pick an automation. Let's do the list reactivation. Let's try this one. The recipe. All right, let's do this one. Let's publish this one. Save it, and then let's test it out, right? So what you can do is there's a button right here called Test Workflow. And inside of that, we click on Test Workflow. It open this up, and then you select the contact. If you don't see the contact you want, you can search for it. Otherwise, if there's only, say, a handful or less, they might show up here like this. So we'll use myself, and then we'll click Run Test. All right, now we can reload it and kind of see where we should be here at this wait until reply or one hour. So the reason you want to test a workflow is you want to make sure that all the actions are working as intended before you send a bunch of contacts through it and you find out things are broken, right? So you want to make sure everything's uh, working the way you initially set it up and you haven't missed any specific settings or anything like that that might break the workflow. So in this case, since I hit test workflow, it skips the trigger. It should have sent me an SMS about free teeth whitening. However, this demo account doesn't have a phone number set up. So if we look at the execution log, it should show that this skipped this SMS. And now we're right here. If we click on the little icon of person, it shows I'm right there. And the next thing we can do is we can move all contacts currently in this step to the next step manually, which is cool for testing purposes, or we can delete the actual contact from this workflow. And you might want to do that specifically once you're done testing and or if you discover something's broken that you need to fix and you want to retest it. So in this case, if we go to execution logs now, we can see I was added to the workflow. And then it says send SMS. It says it was executed, but technically it wasn't because there's no phone number associated with this sub account, so it couldn't have actually sent that. You can check a little more detail here in view execution history. So we can click on that and you can see. And then it says, okay, we're right here in the wait step for the reply, waiting for the reply, right? And we can just come back out of this and go back to builder. And then we can move our person forward. So did we re reply within an hour? If we move us forward, it'll be essentially yes. I believe. We'll see. Let's test it out. So we'll click on our person. We're going to click this little guy here. This says move all contacts currently in the step to the next step. Click move all. And now let's see where we land. Let's see if we land in the yes side or the none side. So reload the page and we ended up in a none side because we didn't actually reply which is the right thing so it should have sent a second message and now it's waiting for our reply so if we go to execution log you'll see if else condition failed and then we should be able to see view execution history or some details on this so let me see if that'll work or it's just gonna bring us back your contact history, maybe that's what I wanted to do. Nope, that's pretty much the same information. Okay, so we're just going to see that it was sent a second SMS, even though it really should have said failed, because it can't send it without a number, but according to how this works, it did go through. It did attempt to send it. Uh, and then we have a wait reply, and it says we're waiting, right? And you can view the details on these. That's what I wanted to show you. So this if else condition failed, I can hit view detail or vent details and it'll say stat condition status failed. Contact replied is true. Nope, it was false because I didn't actually reply. That's how he went down the none path or the, the no path. Okay. And then if we looked at SMSs here, 
on each one, like the first one says success. This one should also say success, but I can't really get the details because it didn't really send it. Okay, so we're back here, and now if we want to, we can move ourselves forward again, and then we'll have more information. So we'll go to execution logs, and it says if else condition waiting right now, and then it pushes us out of the workflow, right? So if we reload, we should see that we're no longer sitting in any of these actions. Go to execution logs. And the if else said it was waiting, then it says it failed. We can see why it failed because intent type is positive. Yes, no, we did not respond with any positive, with any intent, with any response. So of course it fails. Then it sent an SMS again, removed us from the workflow. So that's how you can test out a workflow and why you want to test it to see if these conditions match up with what you expect them to do based on the actions that are taken, right? And of course, it was correct. These should fail based on the fact that there was no response sent back from the SMS text message sent out because we didn't actually send out an SMS and we didn't actually respond to an SMS. So therefore, it executed exactly the way as intended. All right. So if you have any questions about this, let me know. Just leave me a comment below this video and I'll do my best to answer it for you as quickly as possible. Okay, before you go, I want to share with you how you can get access to what I consider the biggest, best, and probably baddest high-level bonus package you'll ever find on the internet worth darn near, if not over, $14,000. All right, so below this video, you can click on a link that will take you to this page you see in front of you. Once you see this page, you click this black button. This pop-up will pop up. You will enter your name, email address, and phone number. Click this black button, and once you submit your information, you'll be taken over to the high-level bonuses page that explains everything you're going to be receiving. So there's another talking head video of me explaining the benefits to my high level bonus package. And if you scroll on down, you can see everything that's included, including my high level insiders flagship mastermind membership program that's absolutely 100% free just by signing up for either Marketing Engines AI, my SaaS, or through one of my affiliate links for high level itself. So you can get all the information you need about that on this particular page. This program includes high-level masterclass for beginners. So this gives you a series of videos that will teach you everything you need to know about high-level. You will also receive the high-level agency masterclass for beginners. So if you are on the 297 agency plan or better, the Pro or SaaS white label plan, you will also have everything you need to know about configuring the agency and or white label pro SaaS plan. From there, you're also going to get access to my marketing engines, AI, various proprietary engines that I am building out in my marketing engines, AI SaaS. You can get beta access to these. So the only ones that are going to be getting access to these before Marketing Engines AI actually officially launches on 525.25 are those who sign up through my affiliate link or Marketing Engines AI at this point as beta access users. So you're gonna get access to the AI appointment booking engine, the AI birthday celebration engine, the AI sales funnel website engine, the AI lead alert engine, the AI reputation review engine, the AI customer referral engine, Plus, there's going to be several more of these engines added to Marketing Engines AI platform in the coming weeks and months ahead. On top of that, you're also going to get access to the Foundation Workshops. Now, the Foundation Workshops are built out to help you grasp the order of operations that are necessary in order to be proficient and be able to build things out in a timely manner for yourself and or your clients. So week number one, we start with custom fields and custom values. Week number two, we talk about forms and surveys. 
Week number three, we talk about calendars. Week number four, we talk about pipelines and opportunities. Week number five, we talk about email services. Week number six, we talk about phone numbers with the A2P10 DLC compliance and application process. Week seven, we talk about payments and invoices. Week number eight, workflows and automations. Week number nine, funnels and websites. Week number 10, trigger links and URL redirects. Week number 11, contacts, lists, and tags. Week number 12, conversations and conversation AI. Week 13, Google reviews and reviews AI. And week 14, communities and memberships with more to come after that. You'll also be receiving marketing engine workshops specifically geared towards helping you fully understand each one of those aforementioned marketing engines, AI engines that you're going to get beta access to. So reputation management service workshop, the customer referral service workshop, the birthday marketing service workshop, etc. You'll also get access to weekly live Q&A calls. So you get a chance to get all of your questions answered and we'll keep you up to date with the latest tools, resources, strategies, tactics, and processes that you need in order to be successful with high level. There's also a private community where you can mastermind with and get the support of a select group of like-minded individuals that are as committed to building their business as much as you are. And if you keep on going, you can read some testimonials and I'll even tell you exactly how to cancel. You can cancel at any time, 24-7, 365, 366 if it's a leap year, and you can even cancel while you're on the pot. So I show you step by step on how to cancel your account if high level is not right for you or Marketing Engines AI. So again, this total bonus value is $14,099 and counting. I'm sure it'll be increasing as I develop and launch additional engines. And if you have any questions regarding what's all included in the bonus package or high level insiders, I have a frequently asked questions area that you can pretty much get all the answers to your questions there. However, if you have additional questions, feel free to reach out and I'll do my best to answer them for you. All right, once you've decided to sign up through my high level link or through Marketing Engines AI, either one on this particular page, you will click one of these black buttons. Once you do that, it'll say try high level now for free and you will get a chance to either sign up for Marketing Engines AI, which I will give you a 30-day trial of it. So I give you a little better option than just signing up for high level where you can only get a 14-day trial. However, if you're not interested in signing up for Marketing Engines AI for whatever reason, and yet you want to get started with high level, try it out. You can start your 14-day free trial of high level on the starter agency plan by clicking this link. If you have already started a trial through another affiliate, but you have not yet paid, so you're still in the trial period, you can extend your free trial of high level starter agency plan by clicking on this link. If you want, you can start your 30 day, I'm sorry, this is actually a typo. You can start your 14 day trial of high level pro SaaS plan by clicking this link. And the best news is even if you already have high level through someone else and you're paying month to month or what have you, you can upgrade to the high level agency plan from the starter plan. Let's say you're on the starter plan and you want to move up to the agency plan, you can upgrade here and still get access to all my bonuses, including high level insiders. You can also upgrade to the high level pro SaaS plan, which is the white label plan by clicking on this link, or you can purchase or upgrade to the high level annual plan by using this last link. If you choose to upgrade to the white label pro SaaS plan, then you will click on this link and it will take you over to this page here where it says upgrade to high level pro today. You will have to input the agency relationship number, which you can find right here agency code so you just copy and paste this in and then of course you can use my code zzyyzzx as well and then if you are interested in only starting your 14-day free trial of the high level pro SaaS plan and you click that link it'll take you over here where you can see everything you're getting and click on start a free trial of the pro SaaS plan today all right so that's everything that's included inside of my high level bonus 
package. So just pick the option that works best for you, depending on your situation. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. You can either leave me a comment below the video, or if you know how to get in touch with me otherwise, you can send me a message via one of those other options. I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Thank you so much, and I look forward to helping you learn and advance your skill set with high level inside of high level insiders. I can't wait for you to join us. Hope you have a good one. We'll speak with you real soon.